So this is one of our Kent trees. And we've got a lot of little fruit on there. They're not quite ready to pick, almost. Uh, but as you might know, Kent is one of the varieties that gets bacterial black spot. And bacterial black spot is a new uh, disease to South Florida. It's been around for a few years. And it's really discouraging because, you know, with Kent and a lot of other varieties, it can get into the fruit and cause lesions and allow other rots to come into the fruit and make the fruit not saleable. A lot of these fruit from the tree ended up on the ground. And so, of course, we don't want to grow fruit for the ground. We want to grow it for people. So what we've done is cut back the part of the tree. I this tree used to be a lot taller and just a few days ago we reduced it to this size. Uh, all of the fruit had been picked off of the branches that correspond to the cuts. And uh, so of course we're cutting it back to top work. We're going to try to top work varieties that are more resistant to the new diseases than Kent. Kent's a great mango. I hope that we can grow it successfully somewhere in the grove. Certain trees seem to be more successful than others. I'm not sure why that is. Uh, but anyway, we don't want to have quite as many Kent trees as we um, have right now. So we are cutting back and top working some of them. So if you have a Kent tree in your yard, you might not be seeing any of the effects of the disease so far and hopefully you never will but you know that's just sort of a hope it this kind of disease spreads very easily and uh, chances are eventually you'll get it that certainly in Palm Beach County we've seen the disease in Broward County and in Miami-Dade and you know it's slowly moving west into the western areas of the county and chances are you're gonna get it uh, so anyway, if you have a Kent tree, enjoy it while you can. Uh, it is a wonderful variety, but you might also think of a strategy, what you might want to do in the future. And, you know, there's a lot of research, or at least a little research, getting done on how to uh, deal with this particular disease. And uh, it's possible that nutrition might be part of the answer. Uh, and also, you know, certain uh, sprays might be uh, effective, you know, sort of, um, you know, fungicides or uh, possibly bacterial side uh, spray. Uh, of course, we uh, grow using organic methods and so that we are very limited on what we spray. And um, so anyway, enjoy your fruit as long as you can, but I uh, sort of keep an eye out. See if this disease is heading your way. Uh, see if your fruit is starting to get some of these lesions on it. And if it is, you can, you know, continue to live with it. Since you're not selling fruit, it might still be uh, good for your consumption. And uh, you can also consider top working part of your tree. And, um, you know, that would sort of reduce your exposure to the Kent. Uh, you don't want to have all your eggs in one basket, so you put another variety that's more resistant on some of the former branches, and that's a good strategy. So if you have a Kent tree in your yard and you're not having any problems, my advice is to enjoy the fruit as long as you can. It's a wonderful old Florida variety. So a lot of the old varieties, including Kent and Kit and Palmer and Hayden, of course, are very susceptible to this bacterial black spot. If you have a tree and you don't have the disease, uh, you might get it in a few years. So start tasting other varieties of mangoes. Uh, we're getting more and more information on the varieties that are resistant to this disease and a lot of them are not old Florida varieties. You have to look beyond the Hayden relatives to other varieties and uh, perhaps Julie relatives. Uh, they seem to be doing very well in our grove, like Graham and Julie and uh, Juliet.
the, the new varieties and the old varieties that are resistant to this disease and start thinking about what you might want to convert your tree to. I think it's a shame to give up a nice root system and so that's why I love top working. It gives you a pretty much instant fruit and a nice sized tree in a couple years.